Hi, my name is Melody Hames. I'm also known as the Horse Barber. I'm based in the northwest of England, and this is my partner Romeo, um, who showcases the horse clips. So I began clipping horses when I was nine years old. I had a Connemara uh, Cushing's pony, which means that the hair doesn't shed out, so I had to um, shave him all year round. And then um, six years ago, I actually realised there was a demand for horse clipping um, and people don't generally like to do it um, and I absolutely love it. So I began clipping my friends' horses and it became friends of friends' horses um, and then I set my business up and um, yeah, it's gone really, really well. Well, I've had Romeo since um, 2014. Um, I first clipped him in 2015 creatively um, with the armour clip, the armour de l'amour which um, went quite viral um, and I realised that people really enjoyed them. So um, I followed it up each year with a new clip. So first year was the armour clip. The second year we did uh, the Native American healing horse, um, which down, went down quite well. Um, and then earlier this year we did um, the Macmillan Cancer Support gingerbread horse. Um, so each year we do one clip on him um, and it seems to go down quite well. So. Yeah, and he absolutely loves the job as well. He loves to be touched, he loves to be clipped. He's never sedated or um, anything like that. He absolutely loves it, so why not? So in 2014, the Armour de la Mort clip um, went quite viral. Um, it hit all different countries all over the world, including America. We were actually on um, CNN News, um, and I was spotted by um, the clipper company Andis, and they really took an interest in my work and um, so I went out to America for the past two years uh, demonstrating my techniques using those clippers um, and training and showing people um, how to clip because there's a need for um, training in this industry so that's where I come into play and travel around um, offering the training of unique horse clipping. So I'm often asked which my favourite clip is. If I'm honest each one has quite a specific meaning because um, they all stand for a purpose really, like we had the Macmillan Cancer Support um, for the passing of a close friend earlier this year. Um, so they've all got individual meaning. Most recently I did the Centenary War Horse and I really enjoyed that project. It's really hard to choose a specific one as being my favourite because they all have a very unique meaning and concept behind them. Um, so I'd say my favourite clips in general tend to be for my clients when I've got the younger children and they want something specific and I think they get quite inspired by the creative side of it. So for me, um, the, inspiring the youngsters is, is where I really do get a um, happy place from, from the clipping. So Romeo's next clip is going to be in October um, next year. In 2019 I'm going to be offering um, training for people for creative clipping horses horses as well as traditional clipping so my focus is going to be really um, getting online for people to subscribe if they wish to do so and they can next year it's going to be very much um, the public's going to be getting involved there's going to be a vote into what you'd like to do and the opportunity for people to come and get involved and actually clipping with me